Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. Before I do again, I'd like to acknowledge my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus in your life, just ask him about who he is. And if you want him in your life, ask him to be in your life. And you don't have to say a word to nobody about it. You can just think the thoughts in your head. Alright? But, I just want to always refer to him. He's the way, the truth, and the life, folks. Don't be without him. On to boxing. So, this video is about Danny Garcia, who is definitely a true champion. Um, the way how Danny handled himself in this loss versus his father is just admirable. Amongst the many different things that he proved by fighting Keith Thurman and how he handled himself in the ring. First of all, Danny Garcia said it is what it is. Uh, you win some, you lose some. But a true champion can take a loss and bounce back. Unlike Angel Garcia who was saying, you know, how Danny won and... You know, uh, Keith Thurman, that it was a robbery or whatever. Uh, Danny Garcia wasn't behaving like that. He really upheld the sport. He was honorable. He acknowledged Keith Thurman won the fight. Not saying that he thought he won the fight. He thought, Danny thought he won the fight, but he acknowledged Keith Thurman as the winner. And what was another awesome thing about it is how he took that in stride and he decided he was going to bounce back. Pretty much that's what all he was going to do. Um, the other thing I like about Danny Garcia and how he cares about himself, and that's why I know he's a true champion, is that Danny Garcia shows that he belongs in the welterweight division. There's no doubt about that now. He fought Keith Thurman, and he took Keith Thurman's biggest punch. He stood standing. I don't think Keith Thurman actually uh, really hurt Danny Garcia severely. Um... He respected Keith Thurman's power. He got, you know, Keith Thurman got his attention. Kind of like what Pacquiao got Mayweather's attention. And Mayweather respected Pacquiao's power. Same kind of thing. And um, Danny Garcia, he's a smart fighter. Um, you listen to him. He said, you know, a guy asked, why you didn't throw more combinations and so on? He said, well, if I go to throw a combination in there, you know, Keith Thurman's got power. And the more punches I throw is the more Keith Thurman can counter me because he also is a counter puncher. So I think Danny understood and he fought smart. He had to sometimes throw one or two shots. You know, some people were thinking mathematics, but you got got to think about the punches you you felt from your opponent and realize that you could get KO if you try to take too much of a risk with a sharpshooter and a guy who's an ambush fighter. So I think Danny Garcia did the right thing. I think he handled himself against Keith Thurman better than he handled himself against Robert Guerrero. Even though Robert Guerrero was more reckless and, and he was taking much more, more punishment. So, you know, Danny always looked like he was on the back foot. Um, but with Keith Thurman, uh, Keith Thurman mixed it up. He was on the front foot sometimes. He was on the back foot. Uh, Keith Thurman was much better defensively than Robert Guerrero. Uh, Keith Thurman was much smarter than Lamont Peterson. See, the thing with when you're fighting it's not just about letting your opponent miss you or letting you uh, making everybody think your opponent's missing you you also got to score on your opponent you got to land shots on your opponent Lamont Peterson early in the fight he wasn't scoring he wasn't scoring like he should Danny Garcia was the guy that was outscoring Peterson so when Peterson really brought their heat on Danny Garcia in the latter half of the fight Danny Garcia had already won the fight points wise Keith Thurman took the fight from Danny Garcia from the get-go Keith Thurman won rounds one to three. You know what I'm saying? I think Danny won round four. And then five and six was Keith Thurman's again. So Thurman just had, like, he only had two more rounds to get to win the fight. And Danny was playing catch-up. And Danny had difficulty handling the fact that Keith Thurman, one minute he's walking Danny down, next minute Danny got to go find him. You know? And Danny always a step behind Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman got that quick, fluid foot movement and he's using it appropriately to the situation right and then Keith Thurman got that defense as well and he's smart when he's coming in and he's going out Keith Thurman don't stay in the pocket too long so Danny had a lot to handle and he, he did very well considering that he moved up a weight class uh, became a world champion and was facing one of the hardest hitting welterweights in the division okay Keith Thurman 
is he hits hard. He hits like Marcus Maidana. That's what uh, uh, Soto Karras said. So, you know, Danny said, you know, Keith does hit hard, okay? But Danny is one solid fighter, man. He got good chin, and he got good defense. We've seen some of the display of his defense. We've seen the display of his offense. His offense is limited to range. That's the problem with Danny Garcia. Kind of like uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, he has a certain pocket range. He has a different style than Marquez in terms of fighting, but in terms of the range at which Danny Garcia works, he has a certain range. Uh, so that's where uh, Keith Thurman knew if he used his boxing skill and then he used his power, uh, he could just pick Danny apart. And that's what he basically was doing. Though it wasn't a dominant pick apart, he kind of relaxed at a certain point, made Danny go go find me. And then when Danny, you know, overreached or so on, he'd punch him or get him in a set a trap for him and, you know, punish him for it. But it wasn't one in which Keith Thurman out completely outclassed Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia was in the fight a lot. Uh, Keith Thurman was instructed by his uh, corner to box Danny Garcia after the sixth round. And so that's basically what he did. Um, and I just, I really like that even though Danny knew, you know, he had to come out all guns blazing. You could tell Danny knew he was behind because his dad was telling him, you keep on dropping your shoulder. You keep on getting hit, man. Drop that left shoulder. Don't drop that left shoulder. Um, but it wasn't that he was dropping the left shoulder. What happened was his father wanted him to use the high guard instead of that. But if he was to use the high guard, Keith Thurman would go to the body. So anytime Danny used the high guard, Keith Thurman would go to his body. When he dropped it and he dropped the arm and he put the shoulder there, because he not always he not always could shoulder roll a punch, he'd get caught over the top by Keith. Uh, and the problem with Danny is Danny don't know how to cover up his whole entire body with his forearms and his head. Keith know how to do that. So there was just a whole bunch of things that allowed Keith to win this fight. But Danny held his own in the welterweight division and he's going to be a force to reckon with in the welterweight division. But I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about Keith Thurman in the next video. But I just wanted to talk about how much of a true champion Danny Garcia is. And in this division, watch out for him. He's he's solid now, and he's only going to get better and stronger. And he got some he got some good pop too. So on that note, you guys have a great one.